This is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm finishing the install and review of the BQH2B2S Direct Drive Extruder. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I've made a quick change to the MAD system in the original that I finished my last video. The fan was sticking out this way. You can see the fan sat here, and with that fan sticking out, it didn't ride right on the direct on the linear rails. So what I've done is I found a remix that mounts this fan sideways and this should work perfectly. So what I'm going to do is now switch over to my printer and let's take a look. So I've mounted the extruder on my printer and I've homed it. So as of right now it looks to me as if it's almost in the center of the bed. I might have to do some slight adjustments there. So I have some next steps to do. In order before I could start printing with this extruder, first thing I need to do is a PID tune. So I'm going to go ahead and PID tune the extruder, and I'll show you those commands, then I'll pause and come back once it's finished. So let me go ahead and get set up, and then we'll take a look. As you can see, I've added the PID tuning command here, and I'm doing temperature of 205, that's my average temperature. Now, I would recommend when you're doing the PID tuning, um, not just in Clipper, but also in Marlin, to make sure you have your filament loaded. That way you're getting accurate heat values with the extruder loaded. Enter the command, and then the PID tuning should start. Now, in a minute, we'll see my temperature start to rise. So looking here, the temperature rising. And this should take anywhere from one to five minutes. So I'll pause and let this run. And while the PID tuning is happening, this sort of gives me an opportunity to check the um, extruder fan. And I can see the extruder fan is running. So that's, that's one of the things I needed to check. And the way the clipper is set up and the way my printer is set up is the fan should only come on once the extruder is heating up. So that all looks correct. Now, one of the other tests I need to do is test the park cooling fan. As we can see, the PID tuning is finished. So I'm going to hit Save Config and go ahead and save the PID settings. That'll force Clipper to restart. And I can go on to my next step. So what I'm going to do now is just test that park cooling fan. So I'll scroll down and turn the fan to 100%. And go over here, and it is running. So I, I know now that most of my wiring is correct. Now I've completed the PID tuning. I'm gonna go ahead and level the bed. And I, I will do this process on screen. Now I'm going to leave the clipper display up on screen. In the corner here, I have my nozzle so you can see everything. And I realize the picture is a little small, but I'm just going to do it this way so you can actually see the whole interface. Now, since I have a probe, I'm going to use the probe calibrate command. Before I do that, I want to just go ahead and hit home all. Because during the PID tuning process, it did restart Clipper. So I'm going to complete the home cycle. And one other change I want to make. So I'm going to go to machine, go to printer.config. And I've set the offset before. I'm going to uncomment this. I set my C offset to about four. I'm going to scroll down the bottom and delete this section right here. So this is basically resetting my C offset. And since I've reset the Z offset, I'm going to need to go ahead and home again. So I apologize about that. I should have done it in one step. I'm also going to apologize in the background. Both my dogs have decided they have to sit here with me and get petted while I'm working. Even though I kick them out of the room constantly, they just barge right back in. So I'm going to put in probe calibrate. Get that. That's going to run the probe and then it'll adjust the nozzle. If 
I give it a minute, if you look very carefully, you'll notice it's the print head is barely moving, and that's basically moving the nozzle so it's over where the probe is at. Now, first thing I'm going to do before I move anything is I just want to look at where the nozzle's at. So I'm just eyeballing the nozzle. And I'm just going to hit the one here to get the bed close to the nozzle. I still have more room. Now that's almost touching. Still almost. That's fairly close. A little closer. It actually feels pretty decent. So right now I have the Z offset, where I think it's sort of acceptable based on where the probe is. So I'm going to hit accept and then do a save config. So on the next step, I'm going to move the nozzle over each of my knobs, screws on the bottom, and then I'll show you how I set all that up. So right now, the nozzle is barely touching the bed. It's exactly how I wanted it. Save the settings. I'm going to head and move the nozzle now so it's over each screw corner and then do my manual adjustments. Again, to get that bed exactly the way I want it. And I'll go ahead and do that on screen so you can see how I do things. Now in my case, I've gone ahead in my printer.config, if I scroll down here, I've set up my bed screws, and I'll do a future video showing how to do this real quick process. So I've set that up. I just need to go over here, and enter in the command, bed screws adjust. Well, I'm sorry, first I need to home everything. So once I've homed, bed screws adjust. And this has moved it to my first corner. And that actually feels really good. So I'm going to accept that corner. Now it's moving to the second corner. That does not feel good. So I'll give it a little twist. That feels okay. I'm just going to hit adjust it. Instead of hitting accept, I should have hit adjusted at first. By hitting adjusted, I can go back around again after I've changed these other corners. So I'll hit adjusted again. What I'm trying to do is just make sure corners are level. That feels pretty good. Now on this next go around, I'll hit accept on the corners if I like how they feel. It actually feels really good, so I'm gonna hit accept. Now I'm hoping I don't have to make any adjustments on this corner. If I don't, I'll hit accept. But it's going to keep going around. Now I'm going to have to make an adjustment here. I'll hit accept 
but I think it's going to still wind up going around again. I'm going to accept that corner. And that's all adjusted. So now I've, what I hope I've done is level the bed. Now in my case, what I do is I have a square I use to print. And that square, I'll basically feel the square as it's printing and then make sure everything feels good. In my case, I'm going to clean the bed first. So I do 99% isopropyl alcohol in the bed. And eventually, once I get some money, I'll change this to a, a PEI bed. I've really come to like those on my other printers. So I've cleaned the bed, and I'm going to hit Start Printing. And I'll pause and come back once this actually starts. So as you can see, I'm printing the squares. And what I do is I just run my finger over the square as it's printing and make sure it's sticking. This corner needs to be adjusted a little bit, so right here. This is actually looking really good. So this is what I want to see. Make sure again it's sticking and it looks reasonable. Maybe it's a little too close now, so I'll move the bed down. Like I said, I just go around, run my finger over the line, make sure it's sticking. This is looking really good. Might be a little bit too close. adjusting it just a tiny little bit. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to print a calibration cube just so that way I have basically a, a calibration print I can look at just to see how that is. Right now this looks all right. Now I can see the lines are a little wavy so I'm definitely going to need to do some work with the linear advance and resonance compensation. I'm going to let the print finish and then I'll do my calibration cube and then do the other different calibrations to get this extruder humming along. So using my clipper calibration spreadsheet, I've gone ahead and calibrated the rotational distance. So I'll have that now updated. And so I'm going to proceed to my next step. And I'm going to go ahead and do the flow calibration. I've gone ahead and calibrated the flow. And now I'm going to go ahead and print a benchy. And we can take a look at that. And then I'll give my final thoughts. So I've gone ahead and finished this benchy. And I think it's pretty good. I just need to do a little bit more tuning on both the extruder and then my printer. See some lines here. And that, that to me looks like issues again with um, the way I have the printer set up. Because I don't think my clipper configuration is exactly perfect. I also don't have input shaping turned on. So I need to mess with that. And I probably also need to adjust the belts. There's some issues here. Again, don't think this is the extruder. I think this more has to do with tuning. I mean, all in all, I'm pretty pleased with the extruder. It was easy to set up. It's easy to load. I, I think it was worth the $55 I paid for it. So I hope you find this helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or comments, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Have a good day. This is Mike from Minimal 3DP. I want to thank you for joining me today. Hopefully, if you have any questions or comments, you can post them below. Feel free to subscribe.
You can also drop me an email at minimal3dp at gmail.com. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Have a good day.